right and in typical Cameron fashion I'm gonna show you something that I think is really cool I don't buy a ton of things because I don't know what I like yet I buy things that I extensively research and that I know I'm going to like and uh, this is the best design for an optic on the planet right now at least for red dots and I'll explain a couple of reasons why so I'm sure you've seen this because I don't have many guns and uh, I don't buy many things I focus on getting the things that are gonna benefit me in the long run <clears throat> and the Holosun SCS at least for the Glock has got some of the most insane technology ever devised for an optic um, and Holosun was good about this design they wanted it to be popular so they made it out of the best materials that they have available to them all the screws and adjustment knobs are tool steel they're O1 or O2 tool steel uh, the body is T5 alum or titanium and it is PVD coated um, major negative it's made in China and you don't see, you see there's not very much room for a battery in there that's because there's not a battery um, this little bitty spot underneath the solar cell is actually a capacitor the <clears throat> capacitor tech that's in this is part of the same kind of tech that China wants to take over Taiwan for super capacitors are not good at storing energy for long times capacitors have to be drained constantly that's just how they function if they're not draining they're gonna create a lot of thermal heat and they're gonna eventually destroy themselves and an engineer in China was smart enough to realize an optic would probably be a really good use for a, a supercapacitor because it's constantly on All right <clears throat> you got to get that balance of discharge and charging uh, capacity I think it's drain rate is what it's called there is a sweet spot if you don't have a good enough drain rate the capacitor is going to pretty much eat itself because it's it's storing more energy than it's dis discharging and that in itself will destroy it over time if you don't have enough um, drain rate same thing the battery will eventually just destroy not the battery the capacitor will just eventually destroy itself so you get it in this output there's a math equation for it but you pretty much want the constant output of a capacitor to be about a half to a quarter of its drain rate so that'll keep a capacitor nice and healthy and this is similar tech that the Texas Instruments calculators have been using for a while but it's even crazier than that <clears throat> so the supercapacitor inside the SCS um, is pretty much one of a kind this is the only optic that I'm aware of that uses this technology it's kind of a glimpse into the future um, you know like imagine a soldier with an optic that never goes bad I mean it's the only thing that is limiting this optic is the actual LED itself but they were very smart and they used a green LED green LEDs run a lot cooler and you don't need a lot you don't need it to be as bright because the human eye can pick up green better than any other color um, and you can see the screws are rusted that came with this and that's you know it's tool steel 
but this is one of the early production runs so I wonder if they've changed that uh, like if this was an enclosed op optic they do make the SCS carry enclosed but I don't think it's a capacitor that they use in that one I think that one is a battery this was like the the first time that they just like threw something out there with a lot of R&D and I, I don't know if Holosun's going to keep doing the capacitor only optics but if you don't have one uh, you should get one I know they're they're not for everyone. Uh, they're not very big, but if you can line up your sights, you can line up an SCS. I mean, the deck height is insanely low, <clears throat> and you can see it's wet because I was actually testing if the uh, the drainage holes work on here because they're so small. So they managed to make enough cap capillary action to be able to uh, drain the optic which when you look at it you don't think that it'll be able to do that <clears throat> but yeah sure enough it's draining pretty cool clever clever Chinese design yeah that's pretty much it <clears throat> Holosun was very smart about they said it a couple times at SHOT Show that weird nerdy guy that they have for their U.S. Uh, sales representative or whatever. Uh, he mentioned a couple times at SHOT Show that this uses supercapacitor technology. And that's the whole reason that I wanted to get one in the first place. Theoretically, if a capacitor's drain rate to charge rate is perfect, or as close as it can be, the laws of thermodynamics, it's... It could potentially work for a hundred years or more or plus even further than that supercapacitors need a lot of palladium and platinum in them because they need to be hyperconductive so not super like <laughs> supercapacitors are hyperconductive and I can put a link in this video that can kind of explain to you how they're doing this and I can show you that some of the uh, Chinese uh, supercapacitor uh, solar panels almost look identical to this one um, and it's potted in a way that aids in longevity and I wouldn't be surprised <clears throat> if 30 40 years from now this becomes like a cult classic thing because you know it's like oh the SCS still alive I've had this for 40 years. I, I, it might become like a FUD thing over time. Um, you know, I wish it was an American company, but they're, the amount of effort they put into making this tech good, it's, it's crazy. Like, this takes so much design because you're using a, something like a, a supercapacitor. They're not typically used for small electronics like this you know like that it's crazy that they decided to go that route but look into it uh, the information's out there they're maybe a little bit they're, they're shy about it they say it has an internal battery and but then they give you a, a life on an internal battery that's seven to ten years so it's crazy and that's enough of me rambling I guess anyways Halson SES it's an epic optic it's really really cool and it's really small like this design is I mean they nailed that shit so yep if you didn't know uh, the photo sensors in this there's three of them the reason why the button is clear is there's a photo sensor on this side. There's a photo sensor right by the emitter, and then the solar panel is a photo sensor. So you'll, if you look online, you'll you won't see many people complaining about its auto brightness settings. I mean, it's got three sensors in this little tiny thing. Um, Sage Dynamics 
did a whole duty testing video on this tiny, tiny optic. No plates. It runs directly into the MOS footprint. Um, yeah, he didn't have any flaking or anything. I mean, they used titanium. And I bet you they used the best glass that they could get, too, and the best coatings. And green, a lot of people don't like green. Uh, there's some belief that red makes you react and that green doesn't. Like, a lot of people don't react under stress when they see green allegedly um, but green is the easiest color for your eyes to pick up so yeah it's about enough of my ranting I think I think a lot of people should get these and try them I'm not a huge fan of Chinese optics but this one is freaking neat and it's not something they stole this is something that they engineered on their own like you know you, why does China want Taiwan so bad because of the capacitor technology so anyways have a good one guys bye